then so for today's video is we will be um, discussing about financial analysis focusing on the vertical analysis so we are done on the horizontal analysis in the other video now we will be discussing about vertical analysis so the content of this video is the definition the solving as well as the interpretation so while solving while discussing about the solving we are then to interpret um, the percentage on the vertical analysis okay so the definition Vertical analysis, also called as common size analysis, is a technique that expresses each financial statement item as a percentage of a base amount. So, if the horizontal analysis, it compares two, um, two um, years, which is the previous year and the current year, in the horizontal analysis, is it focuses on the expressing the financial statement in, in percentage using a base amount. So for the statement of financial position, the base amount is the total assets, the balance of account, total assets. For the common size statement of financial position, the analyst can infer the composition of assets and the company's financing mix. So for the base amount, in the statement of financial position, ang base amount niya is the total asset para sa mga current o uh, para sa current o non-current asset. Dayon ang base amount dayon para sa liabilities and owners equity is the total liabilities and total owners equity. I mean the total liabilities and owners equity. So we will furtherly or makita na ninyo pag mag magkuha na sa solving. Okay, in the solving, so dito na sa solving because the financial analysis, all about financial analysis is na discuss na nato on the video which is focusing on the horizontal analysis. So now, this is the formula for the um, vertical analysis. So the asset account, kung unsang asset account, divided by the total asset times 100%. So, if ang cash is ang asset account, i-divide niyo mo siya sa total asset times 100 para may mo siyang percent. So, ang example is the 500,000 divided by the total asset which is 1,430,000 times 100. Ang iyan na kuha ng percentage is 34,000 ay 34.97%. So the same is true with the horizontal analysis. We are to use two decimal places in our percentage. Okay. So the um the the base amount for the liabilities and owners equity is the total liabilities and owners equity. So if the account is accounts payable, it is a liability account divided by the total liabilities and owners equity. So 400,000 divided by 1,430,000 times 100 is 27.97%. So this formula is to be used for the statement of financial position. So muna siya ang mga formula. So ang formula sa horizontal analysis is from current period minus the previous period. Mo nang kuwaon ni mo daan ang increase and decrease. Ay ha din ka mo proceed sa percentage. In the vertical analysis is diretso ka magkuha sa percentage. Why? Because you are not comparing two years. You are only um, analyzing one year sa vertical analysis. Okay, so this is an example of a vertical analysis. The APC company statement of financial position for the year and December 31, 2016. Okay, so here we have um, the, the current assets, the non-current assets, the total assets, the liabilities and owners equity, and the capital. Okay, we will proceed on solving how to get this percent. Okay, we will start on solving the statement of financial position. So, yes, mata na akong anak. Pasensya ka ayon ni mata na siya. So, kung kaganina ang noise, isang iro, karon ako ano pong anak. Okay? <laughs> so, in solving, so this is your base amount. So, all of the accounts and the above, you will be dividing it 
with the base amount which is the total assets and then there is a obos all of the amounts here will be divided on the amounts and the total liabilities and owners equity so 500,000 divided by 1,430,000 1, is 34,000 34.97% it means that on the total assets ang nag-comprise ana is 34% nga cash so, 500,000. So, for example, if nai problem, um, percentage ra ang gihatag, and then total assets. So, makuha na dahil ni Mudarit. So, ang mga amounts ni cash, accounts receivable, inventory, the rest. Kay gamito ni mo siya, kanis siya, imuhang base amount. Okay. Proceed ta. On the accounts receivable, so, kung katanang mo ni, ay, ay, Siyempre, katanaw, mag mo nga video, no? Magtapad mo o calculator. And then, itry ninyo kung si 80 divided by 1,430,000 makuha ba si 5.59. So, ato ang sulayan, no? Kaya ba hindi? Mali na sad na. Nag-typographical error na sa ang maistro nga bulhog. Divided by 1,030,000 times 100 is 5.59. Nine. So, correct. Okay. So, muna siya. It means nga, on the accounts receivable, um, uh, sa 1,430, 80 ang accounts receivable or 5.59%. Okay. So, on the inventory, pariharagya po ng process, no? 60,000 divided by 1,430,000, mahimo siyang 4.20%. Yes, manok. And then, inga naragya po, diri. So, what is the purpose of a vertical analysis? For you to be able to understand nga ang total assets is dili lang siya tanan current assets or dili lang siya tanan um, cash ang naa sa sulod aning total asset. It means nga daghan ang nag-comprise. Which is from the current assets and the non-current assets. Okay? And also, for you, for you to be able to understand if your total assets is um, on, the, on this year and on the next year is ga-increase ba po? No? Gadaghan ba po ang imuhang asset, um, cash? Okay, dili ba sa tanang panahon nga kung makaingon ka nga daghan kag cash, you are gaining. You have also to compare it to your statement of comprehensive income. Yes, baby. You have also to compare it to your statement of comprehensive income. Dito man mo makita if the company is gaining or losing because of the revenue and the expenses. Okay, so parihariya po ang solving ha. Um gikan ani nga mga accounts i-divide ni mo sa base amount. Okay, sa liabilities food, food, the accounts payable, no, no, baby, no, no. The accounts payable is 400,000. Yes, baby. Divided by 1,430,000. The percent is 27.95. O, diba? Nanilangaw. Nanilangaw. Okay. <laughs> So, dahan kay mga factors, no? Mo ni ti mailhan nga. Dili edited akong video. Charot. Okay. So, next is the notes payable. 250,000 divided by 1,430,000. So, it is 17.48%. So, it means that kung total liability sa owner's equity ray ipakita sa imo nga sa problem and then ipakuha sa imo nga tanan from the current liabilities and the notes um, payable and the capital then ihatag ra ning percent makuha na nimo ang amounts dire kay times sa man ani mong percent dire sa base amount which is 1,430,000 also mabalan pud nimo that the total liabilities and owner's equity is pila nga percent ang nag-comprise sa liabilities. So, sa kanina problem, 45.45% and then pila po ka-percent ang nag-comprise sa imuhang capital. So, it means nga dako ang imuhang capital compared to your liabilities. So, it is a big um, a big thumbs up sa company nga mas dako ang capital compared to your liabilities. And also, it is a very good also, a uh, very good kanang 
nga makita ni mo no, nga dako po ang percentage sa imuhang um, total um, current assets compared to your non-current assets. Why? Dari mo good sa imong current assets, dari ka mas makadako o um, ka ng, mas makadako o kuha o ka ng kwarta. Why? Because of your accounts receivable. It means nga daghan pa kag kolektahon. Dapat kolektahon, gini mo siya. Dapat dili siya mahimong um, allowance for doubtful accounts. And then in your inventory, pag dako si inventory, it means nga, I, I mean pag gamay si inventory is daghan ka o na baligya. Okay? So, and then, uh, dili sa imuhang land, it means nga daghan ka o mga property plant and property plant and equipment. So, imong land, dako kag land, dako kag kabtangan sa land. So, that is the purpose of your vertical analysis. So, next we will proceed on your vertical analysis for the comprehensive income. Okay. So, for the comprehensive income, the base year, di ba, uh, as you notice, there is a muhang statement of financial position. Ang base year is nas, a base amount is nasa ilalom, kaning total total good. Now, in your statement of comprehensive income, ang imuhang base amount, which is the 100%, is your net sales. Why? Because si sales ang nag um, imuha man siyang revenue. Kaning cost of goods sold is mo man siya imuhang net purchases. Imuhang gipamalit. Your operating expenses, mo man mga expenses ni mo, mga salaries, mga utilities. And then, your interest expense, katong gibayaran ni mo sa imuhang loan. And then, your income tax expense, which is furtherly, you will understand this on the other video. Sa mga sumusunod pa nga mga video. Okay. So, in your um, statement of comprehensive income, magsugod ka kang cost of goods sold. Why? Because understandable naman good nga 100% ni si net sales. Kaya siya man yung base amount. So, 180,000 divided by the 950,000. So, what happened? What's happening? Galibog siya ako focus. Ah, okay. So, um, 180,000 divided by 950 is mahimo siyang 18.95%. So, it means nga, sa imuhang net sales, naa siya 18.95 nga cost of good sold. And then, proceed da yun ka sa gross profit. So, the 770,000, so, i-divide ni mo kang 950,000, may mo siyang 81.05%. So, um, itry ninyo og solve diha kung makuha ninyo ni nga ng mga amount para sa inyong um, activity nga naka-attach sa inyong module uh, kabalo na din mo on sa on pag solve next 180,000 so si growth eh, cost of goods sold is dili siya pareha kang operating expense sa giingon pa nako kaganina cost of goods sold is nag-comprise siya kang um, the beginning inventory din purchases or the net purchases and the ending inventory. Ang kaning operating expenses, muna siyang imo mga rent expense, utilities expense, um, salaries expense, supplies expense, muna siya. So, next is um, 180,000 nga operating expense divided by 950,000 makuha ni mo si 18.95,000. Okay. And then, Proceed da po ka kang 590,000 divided by 950. So, as you notice, kaning tanan nga mga amount, gikan kang cost of goods sold, hantod kang net income after tax, is imuha siyang i-divide kang net sales, makuha na ni mo ang mga, um, mga percentage. Okay, for example, in your cost of goods sold, dili ingon ani in your I mean in your comprehensive income. As you can see, this is a multi-step comprehensive income. Okay. If ang um, naka-provide dire is kaning kanin naka-shortcut man ni siya no, wala niya gipakita giunsa niya pagkuha si cost of goods sold. So, kung naka nakabutang dire is nakabutang si net purchases or uh, mga purchases, mga free 
in is katong mga amount ato nila divide ragya po ni mo diretso kang net sales. Okay? Kang net sales ragya po ni mo i-divide. Example sa operating expenses, naka-itemize siya. Naka-itemize tanan nga mga expenses. No, no, baby. Na Naka-itemize tanan nga mga expenses. Okay. Um, for example is, um, naka-itemize utilities expense. So, si utilities expense, ang amount niya, i-divide ragya po ni mo kang net sales para makuha ni mo ang iyahang percentage. So, muna siya, no? In your statement of comprehensive income, single step, ang imuhang 100% is si revenue. For example, um, photography revenue. Kay net sales, di ba? The type of revenue, kung service company ka, imuhang revenue is katong what type of kanang services are you providing. Example, if you are a photography company, you have the photography revenue. If you are a merchandising company, your revenue is your sales. So, kung makuha ni mo na siya, makuha ni mo ang ang total revenue or the revenue the photography revenue sa single step ng comprehensive income ang katong mga expenses didto ni mo siya i divide apil ang yang net income didto ni mo siya i divide para makuha ni mo ang um one hand ang uh, ilahang mga percent so Well, that is all for this video for the vertical analysis. So, as you notice, lahi-lahi o forma si horizontal and vertical analysis. So, murag masayon sayon siguro si horizontal kay Dritz Suman. Magkuha lang increase da yun. Magkuhaan. Magkuha sa percentage and change. Then, si vertical analysis is i-identify pa man mo si base amount. Ay ha ka makadivide sa imuhang or ay ha ni makuha ang mga percentage. Uh, yes, baby. Mouse na, baby. Um, so, that is all for today. I hope you learned something in today's video. So, while watching the video, um, gamit ang calculator para mas makomprehend ninyo, mas masabta ninyo ang gakahitabo sa kada problem. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. See you on the next video.